Okay, so today we are going to look up a wiring diagram for Goddard's Volvo non-start and the registration number. So the, the garage is obviously Goddard's garage. Uh, they've got a Volvo, they've put a starter motor on it. It's a non-start, the engine won't turn over and I've got a reg number. That's it. I need to know everything about that vehicle from that registration number. Okay, um, what we use is tech for techs okay, which is here. And a, and a system called HGS. Okay, so if I can just line this up. The first thing I want to put in is the registration number, which is YP59, YP59. Okay, uh, XUS. So YP59, XUS. Enter. Okay, and that brings out Volvo S80. Okay, uh, it's taxed, MOT'd. I can bring up all the MOT schedules, what it's passed and failed on as well. But the most important part for me is its engine number, which is this 420, 4204T, and the VIN number. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that VIN number, and I'm going to copy that. And the reason I'm going to copy that is, is when we go into wiring diagrams on tech for tech um they leave a lot to be desired okay so if i click on wiring diagrams all i get is horn which is useless uh for volvos it's just the way it is sometimes they're brilliant and other times there's very little information so what we use is hgs so if i click on that hgs data is the next one okay i want to go select new vehicle i'm going to need to do this i need to look at the screen at the same time so it's a volvo and it's a VIN number, so I want VIN number. Okay, go all the way down to the bottom, to Volvo. I want to paste the VIN in there. Press enter. Okay, and that gives me the D4204T, which is what we found on tech for techs Okay, so I know I've got the right one. Click on that. If I put the uh, registration number in, which is YP59, it should find it. YP59. 59 and there we go volvo s80 so that's the one i want okay now i can get into wiring diagrams okay so i click on wiring diagrams move across to here okay and i want to go down to addition all the way down to start and charge okay charging system starter and we know it's a 59 plate so it's may 2009 onwards and there's our wiring diagram Okay, so I know straight away by looking at it that the control wires are controlled by the ECU itself. Okay, so both the live, the coil live and the earth are controlled by the ECU. Uh, pin 30, which is the incoming feed to the starter solenoid, is a 30 amp fuse, fuse 34. It goes through the relay. Okay, and that goes straight to the starter motor. So we either have a bad earth Okay, bring him up either a bad earth on the starter motor itself, okay, or an engine block, the earth lead could be broken, okay, or this fuse is gone because they turn the key and all they get is a click. So the chances are they're turning the key, this is clicking, okay, but there's no juice going through. So we could have bad earth, bad incoming live, or a bad relay, okay, but that is how fast it is using Tech for Tech and HGS data to bring up all the details of the vehicle um, and then from there you can proceed with your diagnostics okay thanks for watching